Hi! Today we are going to see how you can control your Blackmagic camera wirelessly right from your control room and without any cable. Um, this can be very practical when you have a camera operator who is moving around uh, on stage without any cables and you want to control the camera settings such as uh, iris, shutter, white balance, ISO or color correction wirelessly in order to match it with the other cameras. Uh, indeed, although you can send the video signal of the camera wirelessly to uh, the Atom switcher through a wireless video transmitter, you cannot send back the camera control information using the same video transmitter. Uh, this is where the APCR comes in handy. So it will basically act as a Wi-Fi to Bluetooth converter talking to the Atom through the network and passing camera control data to the camera using Bluetooth. For this tutorial, you will need a Blackmagic Pocket camera, uh, the ATEM software control, and uh, an APCR from Middle Things. First, you have to make sure that your ATEM and your computer are connected to the same router and that they are on the, the same network. This is very important. Uh, this way, all your devices should have an IP address that has the same subnet. You don't have to worry much about Bluetooth reliability issues since the idea is to bring the APCR as close as possible to the camera in order to maximize signal strength. Now start by connecting your APCR to middle control software using a micro USB cable. Um, once the APCR is connected, jump to the setup page of middle control Click on APCR setup and enter the Wi-Fi credential of your router. Uh, you can also change the camera ID from here if you like. Uh, there we go. Once you've entered the Wi-Fi credentials, you can then uh, save the settings. Uh, you can unplug the APCR since the USB connection is only required for setting it up. So uh, you can now power the APCR with a USB power bank or directly on the Pocket 4K uh, using the USB-C outputs of the Pocket 4K. So here, here I have an adapter which allows me to output um, 5 volts to the APCR using the micro USB port of the APCR. There we go. Now that the APCR has both the Wi-Fi login and password inside, uh, once it's powered up, you just have to wait for around 30 seconds and then uh, the unit will show up in the status page with a little Wi-Fi icon uh, in the middle control software. So uh, to finish, you set your ATEM IP address in the switcher tab, you press connect and your ATEM will show up. So now we need to pair the APCR to the Blackmagic camera using Bluetooth in order for these two uh, devices to communicate together. In order to pair uh, the camera to the APCR using Bluetooth, so you download and install the Middle Setup iOS app. Next, activate the Bluetooth both on the Blackmagic camera in the Setup menu and on your phone. Then you open the Middle Setup app and click on your APCR. You can start pairing your camera camera by uh, selecting your camera and then you'll get a prompt for a pin in the setup page of your Blackmagic camera. So uh, you type in the pin that is shown on the Bluetooth page of the camera and it will finish the pairing process. So now the LED of the APCR will turn from yellow to blue and your camera is connected to the APCR. Uh, you can set your camera number uh, in the iOS app too. If you have an ATEM, this number is also called the ATEM camera ID and you're pretty much ready to go. Now you can uh, select um, the APCR with the camera ID here. If we go to camera control, uh, it's camera ID number four. So um, we can now start adjusting. You see the, the gain here. So as we move the gain, it will wirelessly change its values here and uh, the white balance here. So I'm just changing gain, white balance. I can change the, the shutter as well um, here. Um, I can do all of these things and I can also do that using uh, the ATEM software control. So if you have connected uh, the ATEM here in the switcher tab, uh, you have connection with the ATEM, then you can use uh, ATEM software control here to uh, start adjusting. So it was camera four. So here, as you may see, um, I can just adjust 
the iris here. Um, I can like do some color grading, all of that wirelessly. Um, there, uh, what can we do? We can do this on the, the black levels here. Um, so we can do more advanced uh, color, color correction here. Uh, we can switch uh, ND filters, etc. So it's worth noting that this advanced color correction tab here with contrast, saturation, luma, gain, etc. This will only work if your camera's recording codec um, is set to Blackmagic RAW. Um, if it's set to ProRes, this won't work. So um, make sure you're setting your codec to Blackmagic RAW, even if you're not recording anything. I have focused here on wireless camera control, but um, the APCR can also receive uh, gimbal data wirelessly as well. So you can send uh, gimbal and camera data uh, wirelessly through Wi-Fi. And if you have a powerful Wi-Fi router, then you're gonna get much more range. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or issues setting up your APCR, please let us know in the comments of this video so that everyone else can see, or just send us an email at hello at middlethings.co and we'll be happy to help. Stay safe and see you soon.